She now rockin' with Mr. Wit, a little flavor from Q Beats. You know that this a hit. Michael Jackson bad, yeah, this is it. A few months ago, I was about to call it quits. Until I came across personalized math tutoring. FBT, the number one solution. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Larry Whittington, Mr. Wit with Fort Bend Tutoring, and it is 2013. Oh yeah. 2013. Happy New Year, everybody. So let's get things underway for Fort Bend Tutoring News for the first month of the year. Happy 2013. And let's see what's going on there. So we got another Mr. Witt original. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So happy 2013. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get things underway, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let's talk about some Facebook questions. So for Ben Tutoring, we have been getting a lot of contact, a lot of interaction with you out there in the internet world, mm -hmm, worldwide, uh, dealing with these questions that have been coming up on Facebook, all right, about, lo and behold, PEMDAS is wrong as well as the order of operations. So first and foremost, understand that PEMDAS is wrong. The video is actually a helpful tool. All right. One, it showcases that some students have been taught incorrectly, may have learned it incorrectly and need to be corrected. All right. So you can use it to verify whether or not you understand the order of operations correctly or if you were taught incorrectly, you can actually learn the true order of operations as it's supposed to be done. And this is important, ladies and gentlemen, because this is is your foundation for mathematics so let's make sure we are getting it right okay let's make sure that we're getting it right so that's the deal so check out PEMDAS is wrong you know to learn about the order of operations and feel free as many other people have to comment mm-hmm yeah and also, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel while you're at it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and look at a few of the problems that we've been asked about recently regarding the order of operations in PEMDAS, right? The true order of operations. So let's go ahead and check out number one. This problem here has been coming up quite a bit on Facebook. Don't know why. I don't really know why, but let me go ahead and hopefully try to solve this for you one last time. The question is written as 6 divided by the quantity of 2 plus 1. Yeah, or you can, of course, switch out that division symbol for this familiar one, 6 divided by 2 times the quantity of 2 plus 1. Either way you write it, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing you must do is work inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to start out by adding the 2 plus 1. So this gives me 6 divided by 2 times 3. Mm -hmm. Then using the order of operations, we're going to work from left to right, being as though division and multiplication has the same priority. However, you're going to do the one that you see first moving from left to right. Okay, so that means that the division symbol comes first, so I'm going to divide first. So next in line is to say 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then 3 times 3, ladies and gentlemen, gives you 9. Okay, that's it. There's nothing to debate about. That is the answer, ladies and gentlemen. Let me run that down for you again. Here we have 6 divided by 2 times the quantity of 2 plus 1. You're right. You do start inside the parentheses. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Anytime you have a value on the outside of a set of parentheses, that automatically means multiplication. And in the order of operations, we do division and multiplication in order according from which one comes first from left to right. So we see division occur before the multiplication here, reading this from left to right. So that means we're going to look at 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then finally multiply 3 times 3, which gives you 9. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that multiplication can be written different ways. For instance, you can see this as 3 times 3. It can also be written as 3 times 3. You could also have it written as 3 times 3. You could also have it written as 3 times 3. You could also have it written as 3 times 3 written that way. And ladies and gentlemen, you could also have it written as 3 times 3. All six of these forms is the exact same thing. They are no different. There's no differentiation between any of these. They all mean the same thing, ladies and gentlemen. It all means to multiply 3 times 3. Some of you actually had questions about that, that if it's written a certain way, does the multiplication mean anything different? No. It means the exact same thing. Multiply 3 times 3. All right. So that's the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, from Facebook. All right. So let's move on to the next problem, shall we? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, in this next problem, we have 16 divided by 2 times the quantity of 8 minus 6 plus 1. So this problem, I was told, is found on purplemath.com, and they said that they were using this, and actually this is just a, a subscriber posted this on the page saying that Purple Math was using this to show that the answer to the previous problem that we just did was uh, incorrect. So I really didn't research this on purplemath.com, but I'm going to do this problem correctly and hopefully that'll help some people out out there. All righty, great. So notice, ladies and gentlemen, that once again we have parentheses, so we will be starting inside the parentheses. So I'm going to bring down this 16 divided by 2. 8 minus 6 is 2, all right, and then I'll bring down that plus 1. Then next, we're going to end up dividing, all right? Remember I just said that if division comes before multiplication, you will divide first because you do those two operations as you see them from left to right. So we're going to start with 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So I now have 8 times 2 plus 1. And then my next step is going to be 8 times 2, which is 16. And finally, 16 plus 1 gives me 17. And that's it. The answer to this problem is 17. Done and done. All right. So once again, we started out with 16 divided by 2 times the quantity of 8 minus 6 plus 1. I'm going to do what's inside the parentheses first. So 8 minus 6 is always 2. You're going to then divide. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. And then you multiply next. So 8 times 2 is 16. Finally, 16 plus 1 is 17. I got a red box around my answer. That's it. Red box in it. That's what I do. Okay, next problem that I have been told comes from Facebook. All right, so we do love Facebook. And by the way, subscribe. Yeah, like our Facebook page. Yeah, do that. For Fort Ben Tutoring, like the Facebook page. So, yeah, there you go. I'm going to put a link down there so you can have an easy time to like the Facebook page. So let's move on to problem number three. Here I have 6 minus 1 times 0 plus 2 divided by 2. Well, moving from left to right, the order that is going to be done first is multiplication. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6 minus 1 times 0 is 0 plus 2 divided by 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like that. Then I'm going to do the division. That's right. Division goes next. So this becomes 6 minus 0 plus 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. Next, ladies and gentlemen, I'll have 6 minus 0 is 6. And then finally, 6 plus 1 is 7. And that's the answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's recap on that. We started out with 6 minus 1 times 0 plus 2 divided by 2. Mm -hmm. We start out by doing the multiplication because multiplication has priority over subtraction and addition, but it is on the same level, the same priority level as division, so we determine which one to do first by whichever one we see moving from left to right. So the multiplication comes first from left to right. So I'm going to multiply first. And 1 times 0, or even if you wanted to say negative 1 times 0, is just 0. So whether you have plus 0 minus 0, it doesn't matter because 0 is not going to change that result at all. So I just kept the sign and just brought down the 0. Then from there, we're going to divide next. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. Mm -hmm. Finally, 6 minus 0 is 6, and 6 plus 1 gives us an answer of 7, and that's the end result for that. That's it. All right, let's keep it moving, ladies and gentlemen. All right, happy 2013. That's right, so let's start out on a good note with correct mathematics. So in problem number four, uh, we were sent this problem here on that PEMDAS is wrong video. So I'm going to work it out just to be sure everybody is clear about how to go about doing this stuff here. So here I have 12 times 2 plus 4 divided by 2 times 2 minus 6 times 2. So I'm going to start out with 12 times 2, which is 24 plus 4 divided by 2 times 2 minus 6 times 2. All right. Next in line, we will be dividing. So this is going to be 24 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 2 minus 6 times 2. Mm -hmm. From here, I will be multiplying. This gives me 24 plus 4 minus 6 times 2. The next operation is going to be multiplication because that has priority over 
addition and subtraction. So I will be saying that I have 24 uh, plus 4, and this will be minus 12. And so finally, we'll be combining the 24 and 4 to get 28. And 28 minus 12 will give us a result of 16. And this is the answer. 16. Done and done. So, recapping over this, we have 12 times 2 plus 4 divided by 2 times 2 minus 6 times 2. And we're going to start with the multiplication first because this operation is the first one we see from left to right. And remember, it has the same priority as division. However, since the multiplication came first, you need to multiply first. Next in line will be dividing. So I have 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then from there, we multiply 2 times 2 to get 4. And then next, we're going to be multiplying 6 times 2, which is 12. And finally, we'll be adding and then subtracting to get a result of 16. And that's our answer. Notice the red box. You know I'm done when I box it up. The next topic for our Fort Bend tutoring news for January 2013 is to please remind you to show your work. So as I did in the previous problems, you notice that I showed each step. I went ahead and gave you an explanation as to how and why we were doing that. And it's good, ladies and gentlemen, to do that, especially when you have to turn in your work and also when you're just taking notes yourself so that you can see the flow of logic, the process that's done in order to get the correct answer. And in addition to that, working hand-in-hand hand for that is write down your steps from left to right. It's a good deal to do, all right? So write down all your work in mathematics from left to right just as we read it. That also helps you uh, remember to uh, keep up with your signs and things like that when you're working out your problems. So yeah, show your work right from left to right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that's going to do it for January 2013. This is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring saying peace. You now rockin' with the best. Hey, Fort Ben Tutoring, 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 Fort Ben.